Warning, this video features stunts performed either by professionals or under the supervision of professionals. Podcasts about lists and the producers must insist that no one attempt to reenact any stunt or activity performed in this video. Subscribe to Podcasts about lists on Patreon.com. Oh, oh, hi, oh. I didn't see you there. You're looking well. Hmm. Would you like to hear a story? A story about... Well... About Stinksgiving. Let me just light my story candle. Come on now. There you go. In the year number two, the pilgrims sailed the ocean yellow. They discovered the poor world by accident. It was a complete whoopsie. When they got off the ship, there was nobody there. This new land, which they dubbed Americaca, had nobody there at all. Not even anyone except the pilgrims. What they did find, though, was a feast most exquishy. The table was set with hundreds of disquishes squishes. Brown turkey, brown bread, brown mashed potatoes, brown gravy, squishy squashes, and corn. Lots and lots of corn. The pilgrims tucked in, and they drank chocolate milk with fudgy chocolate syrup, and there was delicious brown chocolate ice cream topped with brown chocolate sauce, brown chocolate sprinkles, and brown cherries, which were covered in brown stuff. And everything was served in brown bowls. But then, the pilgrim's tummy started to rumble. You see, dear listener, this food had been left out for 700 years, and that's why it was brown. The pilgrim started to poop and pee due to the stomach sickness. Yes, in their trousers. But they didn't want to run to the toilet because they were enjoying the food so much. And also because the toilet hadn't been invented at all. Just then, while they were pooping and eating and in such despair, old Ben Stanklin ran over holding a scrap of white cloth. Look at my toy! Look at my toy! He exclaimed. A mirror go in my pants with Spoopy grabbed it from him. And this is what I think of your toy. And he wrapped it around his poopy ass. But then, inspiration struck. Oh, wait a second, Amerigo Vespoopy in my pants said. My poop is not is my poop is only touching my ass. Not my knees, feet, or the person sitting next to me's feet. And the pilgrims realized that old Ben's toy could be used to hold poop and pee. And they asked old Ben what his toy was called. And old Ben accidentally said diaper. So then all the pilgrims wore diapers while they ate so they could have diarrhea. And all of this was really quite gross. This day, November 19th, year number two, was called Stinksgiving. And they never repeated this tradition, it only happened once. And it didn't mean or represent anything when it happened, and nobody remembered it because everybody cared way more about Jesus Christ, who was also called Pisos Crust. But that's a different story for Christmas. And the pilgrims all died last year of complications from the COVID-19 vaccine. But that's also a different story for Christmas. And that's how diapers came to be. Yup, and all that was true. Happy Stinksgiving, everyone. Okay, gonna get up. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. Ooh. 
bye bye. I'm gonna crap right now, I think. Prairie dogging. Yeah. It's time. Welcome, everybody. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Happy Thanksgiving to everybody. It's so good to be here with you guys. It honestly does feel so good to be in my friend's company right now. Yeah. Yeah. With everything crazy that's been going on in this world, the the Democrats lost the House. Woof. Mm-hmm. I don't pay attention to stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, and it's not really a day for that either. Let's have um, a how about no, check that. Have, I'm door. sorry, I'm let's sorry. I should that. have brought up politics. Yep, thank you. At yeah. Thanksgiving dinner, because um, <laughs> you know there's always that one family member who brings up politics. Because listen, and we can get in a, a whole fight, but I don't want to tear. We, yeah, let's let's mm-hmm. wait. Let's wait till let's later for the Let's not be fucking politics. divisive as as fuck today. That's, that's right. how it's I have an idea. Can we just rub each other's shoulders again, real quick? Yeah, we can do that really quick. Back. Oh man. Oh yeah. That is good. It feels that great. Is really good. Okay. Why don't we do this? I, I feel we should open every episode like this. Yeah, that's actually that does give positive energy mm-hmm. um, when you do that. And my it's question, like zip zap zap. How yeah. many how many Thanksgivings have we had together as friends at this point? Uh, four. This is the fourth one. This is the fourth one. And I also I would really quick like to congratulate. I kind of dropped a hint. On the previous, the free episode, I would like to congratulate everybody who guessed that November nineteenth, the world holiday I was referring to, World Stinksgiving Day. And I tip and I tip my hat to thee. And I, I tip, tip my, my hat, hat to thee. thee. And and Thanks. it's and it's difficult for me to get the hat back on because it's a little too small. And these are pretty hat. tight. They were pretty expensive hats. Um, yeah, these are money, all made out of premium money. Money's suede. not a concern on a day like this. What no. is Thanksgiving no. Day? So here, I need to know! Yeah. Here comes little Pierce asking about the true meaning of Thanksgiving. What could it be? I don't even... this. Uh, you guys may have celebrated four together, but this is my first. Well, we actually explained all that in the intro. Yeah. Uh, and the oh. intro. Yeah, so yeah. you don't... It, so you, might, you want, should just go ahead and watch so the intro. So when it comes out tomorrow, just watch the video. Okay. <laughs> just watch it. All yeah. right, I'll probably catch up yeah. on, on the way here. <laughs> we'll te- don't worry, we'll show you the ropes as we go. Thanksgiving is about a lot of stuff. It's about um, friends and family. Uh, but it's also about some damn good uh, down country, low country home cooking. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I mean, wait, yeah. I prepared a whole dish and put it in a diaper. Yeah. I, yeah. I, of course I know it's Thanksgiving Day. Yeah, if is. we get Jubio, can we get a shot of just our the, the basically cornucopia the, here? Yeah, the corn, so there's a cornucopia here. These are all of wow. our meals that we're going to be partaking in today. Um, I mean, I'm... I'm about. I'm famished. I'm fam. Let's, let's dig fasted, in, no? You know what? And I'm breaking. I'm breaking a 22-hour fast. Okay. Just to look just at, to have this. Look at the. This <laughs> okay. This something. Feel that. Something green is. <laughs> I'm already. Oh, I'm, I'm already hungry. hungry. We'll, oh, we'll get to this, this one though. This looks so good, I'm you guys. I'm so excited this to eat this. So amazing. It really Who does look so good. One? This one is. A, it's, there's like a. <laughs> 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 this is like a, there's a yellowing, oh, this is the, I think this is Caleb's guacamole. <laughs> it is my guacamole, my own, my fa- my famous guacamole. Okay, well, it's a perfect little appetizer, I think, is some chips. Okay. In, let's find the chips in here. Well, here, first of all, open up the guacamole yeah, and show everybody. Well, let's open that up. Yeah, let's open the guacamole. You, you can go ahead and show them, Pierce. You, can you get that thing open? I think once you put the, once you put the... The Velcro on those things, it's kind of hard to get them back open. Oh, what no, it's mean? opening up. Here we oh, go. Yeah, no, op- and I All right, let's see the un- un- undiapering. Oh, the oh, un- oh, yeah. Oh, that looks so good. <laughs> Guacamole. All that we need with that is chips. Well, uh, well, I got great news for you then, because right here, I got some chips. For oh, real? wow. Let me open these up. Let's dig in. This is great, oh. yeah. This looks someone, so good. Hey, someone I, wish I, me wasn't a al- I wish I wasn't allergic to avocado. Because yeah. that looks go. simply delectable. That is just, that's oh, going to so be divine. Scoop. All right. That's going to be Here divine. We go. That's so going to be really excellent. divine. Some some chips and guacamole Here, for me. Take some chips. Here it is. An appetizer. I'm going to have another. Put the chips, put the chips from the chip these. diaper onto the guacamole diaper, oh, I think. That's a great idea. And I'm just I'm gonna I'm gonna have I'm gonna take a sip of this. Hell, guacamole puts me in a little bit of a Modelo mood. If That's you guys right. know what I There's mean. There's something almost it's Hispanic about guacamole. Yeah, 
It's borderline Hispanic. It is borderline. Yeah, yeah. on the border. Yeah. He was he was employing a pun. And we employ. So what's everybody's borderline. favorite part of Thanksgiving? Uh, is for it, me, it has what, to be the food. Have you ever had a? I mean, so obviously this is more of a uh, friend stinking. But when you were growing up and you were celebrating Thanksgiving with your family, what was like that one dish that just made you go? Oh, actually, oh, that's good. And I, can, I, 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 I immediately had an answer to this. Okay, and it's actually the uh, the meal that I brought, or the uh, the part of the meal that I brought uh, for me. It's the cranberry sauce. The cranberry oh, wow. sauce. Uh huh. Oh, so how about you pop open that cranberry sauce? Show these these lucky viewers what you I have. Got to see this. You didn't see the before cranberry it got, sauce? Before it got taped up. Nope. Oh, just you're in and for a treat, buddy. And you're, and you're gonna be you're gonna be in for a. All right, real, let's open that up. Yep. Real gourmet. Hold that up. Hold that up. Hold that oh, up. Oh, and that's so good. That. Oh. Oh, 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 oh no. Oh, oh You dropped great. the cranberry sauce. Right well, that's not a problem because. Uh, it's gonna. It's not like we're gonna eat the cranberry sauce by itself no, anyway, it, right? You know what? It's more of a. It's more of a dessert. Yeah. So let's just let's let let's, that simmer. Let's not eat it then. Yeah. Okay. I don't know why we opened it so early. <laughs> we, I mean, I feel like Patrick opened it. He's talking about how much he likes it. He has to take a bite of yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> and it and it tastes we, what? We should have brought your bib for. And it tastes amazing. Oh, wait, you just mentioned we should have brought bibs. It's funny that you say that because I do have some bibs. Oh yeah. If you'll give me a moment, yeah. Okay. Here, hold on. While you're while you're away, I need to I need to inquire further about why is it called and Stinksgiving? While I mean, you're getting those bibs, can you get me a damn napkin? Because I got some I got some cranberry sauce all over my hand. I think you the smell, the smells that I'm experiencing right sure. now are kind of pleasant. I mean, it's it's mostly oh, just like hey, listen, pal. I know it's your first Thanksgiving, um, but what I will tell you is stinky things come to those who wait. Okay, okay. classic Thanksgiving tradition. Everybody eats this delicious, good-smelling food, and it's a celebration of how the body can turn that into something so foul, something unbelievable. Okay, so it's sort of like a, a it's like a, a chrysalis, right? Much like a chrysalis. It's almost exactly like a chrysalis. No, that's a, that's a different holiday. Oh, I'm just chrysalis. playing. Oh my goodness. Okay, uh, and then d- d- I'm noticing that diapers are a part of this. What does this have to do with friendship? Is is uh, well, who's who is surrounding you to your left and your right, and you're more left. Oh, that's right. You guys kind of catch all of my all of my uh, crap. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you guys take shit from me in a way. In, a, in way. a way, yeah. But we also give food to you. Mm-hmm. And speaking of food, I mean, look at this. Yeah. Oh, the main event. This, oh, yeah. Um, this delicious this bird. This sumptuous. Uh, Here, why don't you lift that up? Lift st- that up. Show the camera. Thanksgiving turkey. Uh huh. Prepared in the natural, in its natural casing here, and uh, with a diaper. I mean, here, show the head. Good enough to eat. Yeah, here, the hold it. Right hold. <laughs> <laughs> the head is right here. Can you go back to the? The head is in here. So the head used to be right there. Right. Oh, hey, hey, can you hold that over this way? I'm just, I mean, I can't help myself right now. Oh, yeah. I want to get in there, too. Mm. Yeah, let me grab some of that. Oh, my God. This is what what it's all about. It slides right out of the diaper. Go ahead, guys. Oh, my God. Look at that. Oh, there's tender? plenty enough for everybody. The way seasoned food brings mm. friends together. Look at the brown on that. God, the brown. Mm. And what is this I detect here? A spot of rosemary? A hint of spice. Mm. It's a little bit spicy for mm. me. I got yeah. it from a grocery store. Mm. Mate, I like to eat this with a spoon. I'm, I'm already a, almost full. I'm more of a spoon <laughs> guy. Damn near stuff. I don't know if I can eat another <laughs> bite. <laughs> But but Pierce, there's so many more <laughs> dishes to dive into. Well, <laughs> so let's go. Let's keep going. Yep. Yeah. Uh, uh, what I mean, uh, if if we're feeling a little stuffed, I think we can also take a maybe a maybe a little short, break. Maybe a little so break. So let's and, think and move about on to some of the other dishes in a minute because oh I know that dear. this I mean, seasoning. Th- I love seasoning, but when it gets on your fingers, oh, it's even stink, better. Thanksgiving. It's not just. I mean, it's about friends. It's about food. Here, you want to suck the seasoning off of my finger? I mean, I'd be an idiot not to. <laughs> mm. um, what it's also about it's also about giving each other gifts mm. that is true that's a big part of this Thanksgiving I don't want to burn through all the food 
you know, in the first few minutes of our Thanksgiving. I think we have plenty of exciting reveals. That's part of the pleasure mm. That's of, true. The, of the meal. Um, so, I mean, un- if you guys if you guys will, I mean, why don't we go ahead and, and have our first gift given to us by one of our, our delightful friends? Of How course. does that mm-hmm. sound to us? Who wants to, to open up their first and gift? And whose gift is first? Well, Patrick, because you're the youngest, mm. maybe you should open up your gift. Okay. Okay, uh, Julio. You're going to need to pull up, the, pull up the gifts now. Oh, there it is. All right. This there. is my Stinksgiving gift. Now, what I found... I'll just tuck into this <coughs> chicken if you don't mind. Yeah, I'm, I'll probably I'll be reaching across and, and helping myself to tidbits. I'm going to need to read it off my phone because I, 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 I foolishly forgot my glasses. Well, I mean, in the spirit of Stinksgiving, I can I can uh, whisper to you what the things you have to read uh, ah, might be. That would be <laughs> delightful. What an amazing showing of friendship between you two. Wow. I think I'm sort of starting to catch on to this. I feel like I'm almost seeing a bond grow between Pierce and Patrick, my friend. I'm feeling a a a, a mass really I will forming say in my in that, my uh, in my st- in the deep <laughs> in the deep uh, part of my body. That Stinksgiving chicken was a little dry. Uh, I oh, wish we I had I some. I, I, I wish we had some of the famous Thanksgiving brown gravy that I could have dunked it in. Uh, but here is my my first gift. Uh, this is from your first gift. The you first part gift. of my gift. Your one gift is all okay. Of these well, it's not. Uh, you have to click the other screen, Jubio. Here it is. Um, this is a forum post from. Uh, Do you eight, want me to whisper? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's all right. A you do D. It. Uh, uh, what's that website? Diaper forum. The diaper talk forums. Uh, here, here's what somebody oh, I love asked. This Rusky asks, "Anyone in the military and a diaper lover? Did you ever wear while on duty?" I'll start off. There were several instances when I was able to wear on duty. I was in the USAF Security S- Service and stationed at the NSA at Fort Meade from 1972 to 1975. Which I fully thought that uh, wearing diapers and uh, you know do it, doing all this kind of stuff was a, a, a thing that happened exclusively in the last 10 years. But it turns out, people have been doing it since the 70s. Back There's in been the groovy 70s, uh-huh. baby. Yeah. People have been doing oh, it all the yeah. way since the time of the Filgrims. I mean, I, not to get all technical on you guys as a kind of a stinksgiving historian, but it's actually been a tradition for longer than many have even been alive. Well, That's can so you awesome. imagine that big 70s bush in a diaper? I guess I I'm, can. Yeah, I can. Yeah, totally. Anyway... Uh, <laughs> I had a desk job. So wait, this is a gift? This is a gift. So Pierce, <laughs> little Pierce, okay? You're along for the ride, okay? I want you to let kind of the warm liquid of Stinksgiving flow over you and soak you. And just, I want you to take on this knowledge and, and the tradition around you. Uh-oh, I want you on the wishbone. And here's a bone just for you, little Pierce. Pierce, blow on it and make a wish. What do I do? You, you blow, blow on, on the on bone it. and you make a wish. But don't tell your wish or else it wasn't come true. Okay. I had a desk job and was able to wear during the midnight shift. It was a neat place to work, and the job I had was to monitor Russian fighter jets. I didn't really have much supervision. It was easy to wear and not get caught. Only real concern was random drug testing, but that happened (laughs) while I served. Looking back, it was all a ni- it w- looking back at the time, it was a nice job. I spent nine months in Monterey learning Russian and the remainder of my enlistment at the NSA. Okay, okay. So w- I'm curious. W- the they are worried about random drug testing. Is that because they, somebody has to watch you pee? That's I, the point. It's either right? because they have to. So maybe because you'd have to. S- somebody has to come in. The watch cotton you pee. of the diaper is in his or meatus. Or maybe they're they're taking some kind of drug to increase their diaper pleasure. Ah, maybe right. a oh, laxative or I don't think uh, a l- or hey that. Baby powder laced cocaine mm. Mm. that so makes you poop. Mm-hmm. I guess you could, if you were a diaper lover, you can just hand a used diaper to the drug tester, right? I also, yeah, I don't make know. Make it ring it, it, it out yeah. into a test tube. Also, yeah. isn't it so easy? I mean, we've talked a lot about the the ABDL community. Is it, isn't it? And so much of it is about the shame of like hiding it, and like, isn't it? so easy to explain it as like, oh yeah, I'm incontinent, I have like a slip disc or something like yeah. that. Why are they so, they're so concerned with like, somebody caught me and I had to tell them the truth. Well, I what pretend if we I'm caught, a baby What if we caught you day. wearing a diaper? I would just lie. I'd lie. Well, actually, yeah. it might be tough. I was thinking while we were preparing this, I was thinking about what maybe if one of you three, not me, started <laughs> thinking because we've had so much so much exposure to this community, started being like, I'm starting to get a tiny tickle in my balls. Yeah. I'm thinking about this. Buddy, Maybe I want to try. Some of the stuff I was reading. Just tickling your balls? 
Yeah. You think you might want it? I think maybe I could make. I, mean, I, I guess could be, like, I could be like a messy a baby. Woman in a diaper. Does the diaper kill it for you? Or yeah. Could you, yeah, yeah. I mean, there yeah. is something about a diaper that is just underwear. I mean, I like a lady in underwear. Mm, um, I don't. No. And that's where I draw the line. Ew. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't like it if any of my friends were wearing a diaper. I would definitely tease them about it. But you're right. I mean, they if they like told that. me, <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. It's part of it. Yeah, yeah. it's probably I mean, spank I them. I probably do all. I probably put them in the timeout <laughs> corner. Um, I probably, probably make them eat right. Brussels sprouts. <laughs> <laughs> if, I, if one of my friends, if I caught one of my friends wearing a diaper, I would probably send them to bed with no soap. Yeah, you say that. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Yeah. I think that's also that is that's the answer to your question. Is like, why do these people who are obsessed with being uh, demeaned and degraded and wearing diapers? Why do they why do they spill their life story about loving diapers to people? Yeah, yeah. why do they? Why it's do almost they like they're always it's celebrating it's Thanksgiving. Yeah. You know, <laughs> mm. <laughs> that's next year. Why would they tell an embarrassing <laughs> thing to somebody? Yeah. Um, Speaking of uh, this next slide here, uh, United States Marine Corps, two thousand seven to two thousand ten. I was originally stationed in Okinawa. While I was there, I didn't have much of a, didn't have much chance to get if, didn't have much of a chance oh. to get padding. Once I was restationed in California, I was in combat unit, so I didn't have much time to do it. <laughs> Once I knew I was getting out, I started padding up more and more. Also happens when I first tried ABDL padding. So okay. you found a lot, a couple people who were in the military served. I found a lot of people who were in the military. Here's well, another I would one say here. that's I'm a huge burn part. Through these that's here. a huge part of Thanksgiving, right? Is like respecting the people who have served. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. um, Definitely lay down your life for yeah. your country. Yeah. Here's another. Yeah, like this person here. I was in the Navy ninety four to ninety eight. I wore diapers when I was when I did the balls. Eight hanger watch what? on occasion. Did the balls? Did the balls? It's what they said. I was also doing the cleaning, so I just made sure my last diaper of the night was in the trash bags piled up in the back door by then. Yeah, I was I'll wearing the Depends on diapers. Once I got married and moved off base, it was much easier to wear diapers, especially once I corrupted my wife. Now, oh my in, in the ABDL community, is corrupting someone when you finally expose yourself as a diaper lover and they have to accept it, change you, yeah, they yeah, have to be a part of your lifestyle? Or is corrupting is when you get someone into wearing diapers? Yeah. Well, I think there's a huge difference between participating in it as in you accept me and maybe even you change me versus you are now deriving sexual pleasure from filling a diaper. You've like, thought about this more than us. I, I mean, if I was a diaper laver, I don't know if I would want someone to also derive pleasure from filling their own diaper. Well, but is no, I, I think the I point, I think the point side, is you so get your wife into putting the diaper on a you. A lot of the, the relationships that I've seen looking at all this stuff is... Yeah. Um, it, yeah, there's somebody they who is. A, there's the, that's why so much of it is their the diaper. little right. thing of like, oh, I'm I pretend to be a baby. They change my diaper when I wake up in the morning. Um, it's uh, <laughs> God, that chicken is so delicious. <laughs> I mean, it's hard I to get enough. It's hard to deny. He's a how good chicken and guacamole, could. anybody? Yeah. Hey, I think Stinksgiving is about talking now. Yeah. Here, here. Let me read this next one. Uh, USMC, United States Marine Corps, 2003 to present. I do not wear at work, but all the time after work. My wife will oftentimes just have one waiting out for me to put on right when the camis come off. God, that is romantic. That yeah. is so Beautiful. fucking romantic to be like, I maybe maybe it's not my thing, but for mm. my husband, I'm going to lay out a diaper for him. Like, like as if she bought lingerie for him for her to wear. Yeah. Kind of just lay it out. Right. Like, he knows exactly what it means. I saw one that maybe I didn't put in my gift, but... Uh, a uh, husband was like, yeah, my wife uh, actually likes that I wear a diaper. She says, um, well, at least no other women are going to want to fuck you. <laughs> 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 who would fuck a man who wears diapers? And then he says, oh, it's weird, but it works for us. <laughs> Check this out. Uh, this one is a different thing. Okay. Um, I looked up some uh, ABDL uh, tattoo ideas. Oh, that's a great idea. <laughs> that is really and good. somebody wants to get the Huggies <laughs> logo on their hip. I want to have this tattoo well, on my Well, that's genius because it's covered by the diaper. No yeah. one sees it. Exactly. Yeah. It's a private thing for you. Nobody knows right. you like diapers based on your but tattoo because your diaper is covering, covering it. <laughs> imagine going to a tattoo artist and showing them this logo and being like, 
Yeah, this is just something I, I thought of. That's e- now you have an easy out with all, anytime you have to or you want to get a tattoo and want to explain it. You say that you lost a fantasy football league, mm. and yeah. then it's like, oh, the guy. Will you be know, like, it's oh, harder yeah, to course. explain though is you say you want this tattoo, and he's and you're like, yeah, I lost a fantasy f- football, whatever. And then they're like, all right, can you get down to the table and you you have to you roll up your shorts and you have to pull <laughs> your diaper <laughs> back. <laughs> um, that was another part of the punishment for the fantasy football league. I also have to have this pacifier in my mouth <laughs> for the fantasy football league. That's how you get out of any time somebody catches you with a diaper on. Yeah. yeah, you have to change me also. That's part of it. <laughs> I lost the bet also, and yeah. the part of it is that you have to change me right here. I lost my fantasy football table. league. It was either the Waffle House thing or I do this. Okay, I forget what this one is, but it's uh, too much text, and I don't want to uh, read it. Okay. You are okay. pro. Yeah, no, but this next one here, uh, this was on a discussion about the queen. Nice. It says, no. Irish and British here. Sad time for the world at the moment in history with the oldest monarch to ever lived. I've seen a lot of toxic comments about the Queen's death, particularly coming from the country of I'm Ireland. Get back into this guacamole. About the six counties. Whatever happened in the past is the past. <laughs> she was someone's mother, grand and friend. That's what's more important. It's cool to see the uh, the the members of the ABDL community just say whatever happened in the past in Ireland. Is in the past. Yeah. <laughs> you love to find posts on the diaper talk that has nothing to do with diapers. You think it's cool that these are full human beings that yeah, don't. Yeah, that's what I like to, to do too. Taste. I mean, once we get to my gift, I think I, I found some nice people like that too. Yeah. I think that's part of Stinks Giving. I was more criticizing me. this person's uh, uh, fucking asshole behavior. <laughs> the queen? <laughs> the queen and this person who said that the uh, whatever happened in Ireland should Not just be. Deal. The past. Water under the bridge. It's not mm-hmm. water under the bridge. Pee under you, the you've ass. You've never been to Ireland. I'm gonna go next you, year. The, the four Irish people you know are your family. Yeah. Why are you so? Cares so true. much, and none of them have been to Ireland. <laughs> That's not true. My cousin did. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. My cousin did. All right. Well, that's the end of your gift, right, yep. Well, then let's, uh, I mean, maybe. Yeah. Thank yeah. you so much. Also, Thanks, I don't think that this is on. No, it's working fine. No, it wasn't on. Yeah, I knew that it wasn't. I could you very easily tell that it wasn't on by you <laughs> pressing the button and it not working. And yeah. it's nice that you figured it out. Um, thank you for your 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 I great. That was so was special. Thank you. I that was really special. That was. Special. Special. Here, come, come that was I, I really thank you, can't. Pa- everyone I can't just say thank you, Patrick. Thank, thank you, Patrick. Thank you, Patrick. Thank you, Patrick. Stank, stank thank you, Patrick. Patrick. Thank you, Patrick. Thank you very much. Thank you, See, Patrick. He's already he's he right. said it before you guys. Said <laughs> it. Guys, I'm fucking starving God, after that I'm long ass. Oh yeah. Can I open up something here? Yeah. Open up one. Let's open up a present here. What's this one? This one is in a diaper. That's just dig into that. This one has a diaper around it. Who hasn't opened one yet? Oh, this is Patrick. Uh, oh, this meal. is my. Th- oh my gosh. This was no supposed surprises. to be. This is exciting. This was supposed don't to be hey, don't say anything about it. No spoilers. Let Cameron open this bad boy, and what could be hidden beneath that beautiful cotton layer? But sh- oh, a shrimp, shrimp cocktail. cocktail. Oh, that looks Yay. so. Oh mm. God. And Patrick, I mean, you're you love shrimp cocktail. Oh, you can't I eat lo- the guacamole, oh. so that's got to be your favorite. How would you enjoy right? some of that? We reached for the same shrimp. Into that. Oh, Here, the oh no, I'm allergic mm. to seafood. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Patrick fed me the tail. He it's ate the tail and all. Oh, the tail is not good for you. It's a bone. <laughs> no. Speaking no, of bone, yeah. I, hey, well, I mean, that shrimp is making me hungry. I gotta yeah, the shrimp's it. making me hungry for chicken, the shrimp of the air. And all of this food is making me real thirsty. Mm-hmm. God, it's oh my just God. so Look at my tasty though. fingers. <laughs> Everybody, look at my fingers. Those look delicious. Oh look at look how the hair is catching the I know you want to lick that off. Mm, the hair? I, I know, know you want to lick. I know you want to lick that seasoning off too. Oh does look get over there. Get get your get your chompers on that seasoning. Mm. Oh, he got oh, it. Oh, my he finger took it for you. Right now. It's so fucking good. Oh, there's another piece of shrimp for Pierce. Mm. What? He's so <laughs> he's so hungry. He can't help okay, himself. Okay, look, I've been to plenty of Thanksgivings, and no one comments on how much food the other people are <laughs> eating. Oh, another piece of shrimp for Pierce. <laughs> I'm just I'm just excited that you like my well, meal. Well, this is nothing like Thanksgiving. Uh, uh, you're like my fucking mother. Chill, chill. out. You chill. No, you chill. no, no. Chill. Chill. Oh, okay. All right. Yum. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, guys. I think I already. Do you guys want a gift? I would love I another. I want one so bad. Well, I gave my gift first, and now to receive three more. 
<laughs> that is just absolutely divine. <laughs> That's the best feeling in the that world. Is, what's better than that? First all right. of all, giving I a gave gift and then receiving three in return. And yeah. three come back. Oh, my God. It's the best deal in the world. <laughs> Thanksgiving is really beautiful. All right. Here's my gift for everybody. Okay. Um, so let's start it off here. Okay, so the animation <laughs> isn't working. I forgot that the animation wouldn't work in this. Wait, so click prese- presentation. View. It's not gonna work. Okay. Uh, uh, so mine, pro- yeah. See. Oh, now I can't see anything. Yeah. Um. So th- this will make a list. So my gift might be a little scattered. And hey, Julio, okay. you have hey. to. Mi- you might have to drag stuff around because some stuff is covered. I'll say other this, stuff. Cameron. Stink you for trying. Oh, that's thanks. what I really thank you. About. But I really tried? did and kind Cameron? of. I kind of. Cameron. Thank you, I guys. I kind of, I kind of messed it up, buddy. It's listen. Look at me. Look at me. It's okay. Thanksgiving okay. is really about learning okay. from your mistakes. I, I know that we're here and we're eating food out of our diapers, but I really want you to know, I stink you very much. You're one of my most stinkful friends. That's I really stink of you as a you. brother. <laughs> Hopefully, you still stink <laughs> of me that way after my terrible stinky mistake. Okay. Us three are like one in the stink and two in the stink with you. <laughs> <laughs> in terms of how much we stink for you. Okay. Does anyone conceal carry while diapered? I Bambino Baby says, I carry regularly and am diapered, usually thickly regularly, and I am proud and not ashamed of both. To answer the original question, I think your concealed carry setup, and of course weapon of choice, makes a difference as far as diaper wearing go. I used to have an inside the waistband holster and would wear it while diapered. It was sometimes tricky depending on how many diapers I was wearing at the time, but doable. I now primarily carry a full-size Glock 19 with an optic concealed with an OWB holster. I find that di- I find that diaper wearing doesn't affect this type of carry at all. <laughs> a wow. diaper and a Glock. I mean that wait, so this person so how, what is their setup with the diaper and the and the uh, the holster? They don't have the um, no the, the no, Glock no, is the, not in their diaper. Yeah, the Glock no, is outside that, of the diaper. It's so, between so the really diaper and it, pants. This person is just bragging that they because of course you can conceal carry with a yeah, diaper right. on. It means I mean it, it's it's. I feel it's like, like having two diapers. Yeah, it's like con- concealed carry with a diaper. I feel like if you are wearing a diaper. You should have to put the gun in the diaper. Yeah, I think you're I right. I agree. I, the, think the I will gun say though, go right in the front. The, this question, the tenor of this question, I, I this is the only, I think the only thing I put in here from this, but this is a lot more like there's a lot of people who are like, how can you live with yourself carrying a gun around? So <laughs> it's more like that than like how do you pl- how do you wear so it? So the ABDL community is not so kind of this. It's uh, split down uh, the middle, okay. I would say. Some the, of the, there the are some people who are like this. Huge. Some pe- I read another guy who didn't put in who says he does halo jumps. The high high uh, he was in the, like the Marines or something, and he did like jumps from like twenty thousand feet in the air. He used to he used to skydive for the military in while he diaper? was wearing a diaper. <laughs> he said that it's normal to wear a diaper while you do that. I, what it, I'm curious. What you're, falling, um, you're falling for hours. <laughs> you're falling for hours and hours. What it, that's how he <laughs> found out it's true. Option. You either do that or you piss out right in your face. <laughs> what if he found out that's what, like, like he was doing a halo drop or whatever and then found out, like, man, wearing a diaper is fucking awesome. <laughs> I do wonder. I, you said it's like wearing two diapers. I wonder if you wear the holster and that's the first thing that awakens you. Yeah. Oh, you have it, it on and you're like, you're like, oh, this kind of feels good to have something. And then you get like, no one knows. Do you think this is making me? Yeah, around. this is making me think of my childhood, but I never wore a gun yeah. as a child. What, <laughs> I don't think what I had could a I be gun thinking when I was of? a baby? What else did I can carry while concealed? Oh, oh a <laughs> screwdriver. <laughs> I was Tommy Pickles. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's my next gift for you guys, or my next part of my gift. <laughs> Do you consider yourself ridiculous wearing diapers? Um, and Naughty Boy Nathan. I we'll found this exact same post. You did? Yeah. Naughty Boy Nathan is responding to someone who said, even though I love to wear diapers, I've been wearing them 24-7 for over three years. Sometimes I still feel kind of ridiculous for wetting myself like a baby. Somebody else? And Naughty Boy Nathan says, why? It's totally awesome having warm pee flowing over your nether regions. <laughs> and then a bunch of smiley faces and then a thumbs up and then a cool sunglasses face and then the awesome what? face. Um, what is the awesome face from? It's a it's a meme face. Yeah, it's from, it's from the internet. Oh, uh, damn. What, yeah. what was oh, the... Oh, damn. <laughs> What was the search <laughs> term awesome. that you found? Did you look up nether regions? Uh, I do not remember. I think this is just a recent. Post. I think nether regions is a good, uh, good. This guy actually, term. again, uh, this is something else I didn't put in. This guy it's, has made several posts with the phrase nether regions. <laughs> okay, <laughs> going over nether regions. That's kind of uh, his thing. I mean, you gotta get you, you gotta get like kind of tired at some point of saying crotch or yeah. no yeah. no zone or yeah. all that. My Balls. wet, my yeah. wet winky. Okay, mm-hmm. so. I did, see, over I your did balls. see a couple of people who talked about their diapers, a couple of women who talked about their diapers and said, uh, yeah, I pooped and it got all over my pussy. <laughs> and I really hate, I really was like, 
<laughs> okay, no, no half step in here. You can't be like talking about your diaper and but then call it a pussy. But of course it did, you know? I mean, like, I, I look at yeah. a pussy in a butthole and I'm like, no diaper in that area, please. They're a lot please. closer. Don't, please don't cover all that good stuff. Yeah. For God's sake, yeah. <laughs> please, don't get that please, all please. smushed together. Don't please. do that. Julio, for this one, you're going to have to uncover it because these are supposed to, these boxes are supposed to animate out, so you're going to have to delete them one by one, okay? Um, so this is, what were your weirdest dreams, including with diapers, either asleep or recreationally speaking, that changed you or you remember strongly? Here's a stinks rule. Recreationally speaking, meaning a daydream? Stinks giving rule, no talking with a mouthful of food, please. I love my food, though. Okay, then he that's loves his food. Then I'll make a special stinks giving <laughs> exception <laughs> for you. <laughs> Um, so this is there are mainly five. So these are five dreams that this okay. person had. So just delete, just delete that, just delete that that box. Yeah, there's one behind each of them. No, stop! What are you doing? Stop! Oh Undo. My God. There's five boxes that cover them up. Well, it's hard delete to them one by one. What the hell hey. you're saying? <laughs> okay. Don't shout at him. Yeah. I'm shouting That's at him. That's not what that Thanksgiving is, not, is about. Spoiler. Give a Thanksgiving okay. apology right uh -huh. now. Look directly into your camera and give him an apology. Right here. No, I feel like that's no. not a good enough punishment. I feel like if someone should get a spanking if they if they break a rule. I think you should have to wear a diaper. <laughs> no. I think you should have get to put diaper. a diaper on right now. Get the diaper. Listen, guy, I Julio, I want to give you a really sincere uh stink apology. That was not that was not very stinky of me and I'm really <laughs> sorry for what I did. Um, I got I got caught up in my emotions <laughs> because. Okay, no, I take it all back. That's part. No, of you have to do a you have to do a stink apology. You interrupted uh, a stink okay. apology. I, now close it. Oh, look how sad he is. Look at him. He's crying. Look how sad. He is. I apologize. <laughs> it's not my problem. He looks like a hacker. Anymore. He's crying up there. I'm sorry Aww. that you don't know. You have to look into the camera. Okay, wait. Give me the give me my camera, please. That's Cameron. That's Patrick. Cameron, I'm you sorry. Look in, you keep looking at me. Why? That's because I'm apologizing <laughs> to you. You, you asked for your camera and then Cameron, looked away from it. I'm sorry that you don't know the rules of Thanksgiving. And you don't know that that is actually very customary. They've been doing that for 2,000 years almost. And that's completely, that's what you're supposed to do during an apology. <laughs> <Don't pull that up. laughs> do not pull that up. The wrong episode. Okay. <laughs> here are five here are five dreams that this this uh person had. Okay. okay. First one. A cartoon character was suffocating by a gum. I feared them when I was a child because of it. Okay. 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 Can we get the second one here, please? Second one. A mystical dream where I was dying and climbing a Mayan pyramid. Oh, oh right. that sounds the cool. Second dream, yep. Okay, now we'll have the third one. Third one, Jesus appeared in my grandma's bedroom. Then he hugged me and told me he took care of her. She lived many years after that. Awesome. And now here we have a warning in between the third and fourth one that says, warning, things get sexually explicit from now on. I'm, I'm, nervous, to <laughs> I'm oh, nervous to Oh, you to should see. be. <laughs> 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 Let's reveal the fourth dream for us here. Fourth one, I had sexual relations with my own mother. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see the direct action, though. I was just laying with her after finishing doing it. It seems that kind of dreams is common for some people, but it was still disturbing. Okay. I love being an ABDL and having a dream where you have sex with your mom and being like, what could this mean? <laughs> 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 what the hell I also could love, this yeah, mean? I also love having that being like, well, everyone has that. Everyone probably yeah, has that's dreams normal. Like that. Yeah, that's a normal dream. Okay, you guys ready? Yeah. Yes. Fifth dream. Fifth one. A girl pooped her pants so much she could even rise her turd as an erected penis. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> a girl pooped her pants okay, so much wait. she could even rise her turd as an erected so penis. Much. So let me let me yeah. let me kind of uh, lay out what my theory cuz that makes almost no sense. But I guess like are th is she saying that she is he saying that she would sit down like in a chair, shit her pants and then maybe she has her zipper open and it fills up her pants so much that it pops through her zipper. No, I think no, no, it's rising it rises her turd. Nothing to do with I think this. I, I think, think, I, think that, I think that I think that rise is a is a, a, a typo, and I think it's supposed to be ride. R oh, oh, interesting. That, that does make more sense. No, yeah. I think it's rise. I think that I think that her turd was so solid and it was packed in. I also think I know that this is about to make no sense. <laughs> you're thinking it's a dream. <laughs> uh oh, sorry, it's a dream, dipshit. <laughs> I think the Whoa. zipper makes perfect sense. You fill up your pants, the hole is there, and it's like a it's like a yeah, play-doh. Yeah, that would that would make sense it if rises. it was a real thing that happened, Caleb. You're right. That physically <laughs> okay, <laughs> tell makes me sense. your theory. <laughs> Using dream psychoanalysis, I okay, will tell okay, you. Okay, dream expert. <laughs> okay. 
when he said that she pooped them so much, mm-hmm. he just means she pooped them so specially. <laughs> so so she she pooped them in such a way that her turd went up and down. That's what happened. So like, it like she went like she, it she shit so much that like it like she, she went like shit in Whoa! such a way that her poop was like, a, her poop was a full turd and it went up and down like a like, like a bummer. like she, she was like she was in like so she much, was in though. Super Mario Sunshine. Yeah, Why would he get... add that detail if she's saying that he he she goes up and because down like a piston it would just fall in her own out, ass? Otherwise, it would fall out of no, her. No, otherwise ass. it would come out of the zipper like a fucking hard brown <laughs> cock. You fucking <laughs> idiot. So you're thinking it's like it's like Super Mario. If she poop her pants, it would fall out of her. I see. I I'm I'm the I'm the third I'm third way. Here, I think uh, I think that it doesn't come out of the pants at all. It's a big, it's a print, it's a poop print. You think it's a print? Think I think she, it's a poop print. Like a, you really think it's that. like an Instagram picture of the, that yeah, the I game? Yeah, it's would a gray sweatpants. Where? Okay, all right, that yeah. makes sense. This actually, actually that, happened to me in okay. real life. No, it didn't. <laughs> <laughs> no, it did not. You're all thinking right. you're like it's like okay, it was a dream that someone else had. <laughs> okay, okay, it was a dream did. that someone had on the diaper. I list. I do like that we all just. Uh, had our own psycho like analysis of it. We were all like, "Oh no, your theory is completely wrong." I'm not sure my my theory was what I would call psychoanalysis. Yeah, it was. <laughs> I'm not sure any of them. Yeah, were. the shit would come out like a cock out of the. You zipper. approached it like Adam Savage. <laughs> yes, which I actually have been watching a lot of videos where Adam Savage explains kind of his process. So. Does he ruin his everything? <laughs> he does. All yeah. right. Yeah. For this next one, Julio, can you please drag the bottom one down just to uncover? Just can you uncover oh my them? God. Because they're okay. uh, they're kind of co- they're all covered up each other. So can you just drag them out of the way, Cameron? I d- thought it w- I would be able to have the animation Cameron. have them fade in. I'm very sorry. I'm I already you. apologized. You guys said it was okay. Yeah, it was okay. <laughs> um, I love where. Okay, interesting places to wear. I love wearing at my local casino. <laughs> I can sit at a table for hours and just keep drinking and never have to take a break. <laughs> and I love walking around in it, thinking, I wonder how many people are wearing. Okay, mm-hmm. I. That is, I do, that's a great idea. Yeah. Because that does suck when you're at a slot machine. Oh, it's hot. Oh, the roulette table is hot. I'm making fucking $10 an hour. And then you Nature go, calls. And then you go, oh, I have to use the little boy's room. Excuse yeah. me, dealer. Yeah. That I'm sucks. no longer a roulette machine. Yeah. I'm a piss machine. It's better to, when they ask you for your bet, just kind of stand there, just grit your teeth as you push yeah. up piss <laughs> 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 for a full 30 seconds. Yeah, no, yeah talking to the, to the dealer and be like, can you not look at me for a second? Mm. Yeah. I, I can't. Yeah, I need to go and I well, get shot. Well, if you're if you're a seasoned uh, pro uh, and you're sh- you're shitting your pants and pissing your pants at the casino, I think that like it, it could help you with your poker face. I think if you go to the poker table and you're just like you know you're sitting there shitting. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. They, oh yeah. oh my god. Your That's impossible face. to read. Yeah. Because yeah. they look at you and and they're, they're never thinking this guy's shitting his pants, but they're looking at your face and you're like. He's looking at me like he's taking a fucking shit right in his pants <laughs> right now. Yeah. What this cards does, does he have? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. He has to have two kings. He's a, he's doing deuce. That. Yeah. Hey, yeah, he's got a deuce. And yeah, you know, and you know, it's not going to be a royal. I flush. also think that he's that got a full yep, yep, house yep. diaper. He has a full, a full yeah. diaper. House diaper. <laughs> a full house diaper. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, next Texas interesting place. Hold him. Wait, I would yeah, like right. to say one more thing, which is that yeah, I think he's that not holding <laughs> it. I think that it's might going. be. I think that might be good luck to wear a diaper because it is like so anything that I think is like impeding on a normal life. Any kind of disability is very good luck at a casino. Yeah, yeah. I'm impeding in my pants and my diaper at the casino. Like part of it. Once you get into the mindset of I'm just secreting. Yeah. Yeah. Then you start yeah. secreting I'm money. I'm plugged into the exactly. matrix. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. sitting here. I'm just a money machine. It doesn't. Yeah. I, it's I, falling out of me. Exactly. Coins are falling doesn't matter. out of my holes. Yeah. yeah. I am a right. slot machine. And it's kind of effortless. <laughs> <laughs> it's basically second nature. A slot machine. I am a slot a machine. A slime machine. Next no. interesting place is I love urbexing. That's urban exploration. I I know. Padded with I don't care what you know. That's okay. Uh, you don't know. Padded anything. with a few beers. If it's a place that's already cluttered with litter, such as an abandoned hospital in the downtown of my hometown, I've actually left used diapers there before. <laughs> Am I allowed God. to post pics? Although when I've come back, they're never there. It really makes me wonder how that is the only piece of trash to go missing. It's a raccoon. Is there part another part of this that's covered up by any chance? I can't remember. No, I, I don't think, think there. So. I think there there might be. Yep. Oh yeah. Yep. 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 Uh. Depending on whether the locations already have a good amount of graffiti, I actually have left my A-Disc username tagged before. 
Hmm. This oh, person damn. tags their adult diaper for that is so funny. Graffiti. That is so funny to be into graffiti and also like wearing a diaper. Yeah, yeah. They're not. So do you think, you think they? Uh, you think they like get like a paint pen and like write their fucking write their name like their gra- graffiti? You think tag they do name graffiti their, with their you name? Think they, <laughs> what, that's what it, what, that's what it says. They no, 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 no. I mean, I was. Oh, fuck. I've had three beers. Uh, they, do, you do you think, think that they poop <laughs> on their <laughs> finger and wipe it? <laughs> And smear it? Is that what do you're you think, asking? No. Do you think that they write like their graffiti name on their the front of their diaper? I think it makes more sense, and it's probably a funnier point that they might write their name in their shit. Yeah. yeah. Maybe yeah. they're spraying it. It comes so out exactly weird. like spray paint. Yeah, but that wouldn't make any sense because it's too yeah, weird. Nobody would do that. What the, if they the did it in the, in the graffiti style with poop? Then that would be pretty impressive. They might be one of the greatest artists who ever lived. <laughs> If somebody would have had that much <laughs> control of their ass and their penis, <laughs> wait, I mean that's dude. I mean, look how, Hold on, look how much I, they like Jackson Pollock. And he's just throwing. You have paint. a stencil on the wall, and you just explosive <laughs> diarrhea. <laughs> no, on I the wasn't. Stencil. I wasn't. I wasn't gonna say that. I was gonna say like you. Uh, you shit like. In like block letters, like you like you position your butt. Oh, oh you put like right. a little cookie cutter on your anus. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's a good idea. <laughs> and yeah. it writes out your it writes out your tag. The only name. problem with that is that you could only graffiti the floor. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. You have no, to no. bend over and do it on the wall. But how does it stick? You, sticky. You eat yeah. a lot of. Uh, right. It would it would pull down. You eat like a lot of garlic or like uh, something foods. that makes you yeah, diarrhea. Sticky foods. You eat what you normally eat plus glue. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> that might work. Simple. Okay. Um, the last interesting place is Opera Premier. Billionaire environment. So embarrassing. <laughs> billionaire vibes. Billionaire environment is so funny to me. Just wearing a diaper in a billionaire environment. Um, I'm struggling being a diaper lover and a bull rider <laughs> slash cowboy. <laughs> I'm struggling with the fact that I can't stop wearing wanting diapers. I ride bulls and cowboy, but I can't help the feelings of wanting to wear and use diapers. This is a problem to me because I feel weak and babyish when I wear diapers, and it's the direct opposite of who I am when I'm riding bulls. I feel like I have a split personality, and I really need help in coming to terms with who I am. Is there anyone else in the Western lifestyle who loves diapers? How do y'all deal with it, and how did you come to terms with it? Slash stop pin- binging and purging. Any and all help would be great. Well, do you guys know about binging and purging in the community? I in the no. diaper community? No. Yeah, binging is when you wear a fuck ton of diapers and shit and piss in them all the time and get off and purging is when you say I have to stop being <laughs> into diapers and you throw them all away. <laughs> I just learned about Okay. That. So it's wow. not really a fi- it's it's more of just a it's choice. It's nothing digestive. Okay. It's all like right, sure. you excess in diapers okay. and then you stop. Yeah. Um here's some more from this this thread. I felt the conflict when I was much younger. In high school and college, I loved sports and managed to play a few. After I graduated from college, I got into quarter-mile drag racing and had two cars I ran at the track. At the same time, I dearly loved wearing and wetting diapers. For years, it was a conflict, and I had trouble as to how I saw myself. But over the years, I began to realize that as people, we're complicated, and sometimes we're more than the sum of our parts, so to speak. I learned to make peace with myself, learning to accept my quirks along with my pluses and successes. Both are part of the same person, and they can reside together in peace if you accept yourself for all the wonderful things that you are. So the reason I put this in here um, <laughs> is this one. I n- so I realize I've never wanted to see a movie more than a movie about a guy who's a drag racer and he's trying to to yeah. make peace yeah. with being a diaper lover also. And he's like he's dr- drag racing and then he's going home and putting on diapers and he's drinking and he's like fuck <laughs> fuck I need to quit. <laughs> but yeah. somehow we would need to figure out a way for the diaper is like. Somehow, also kind of making a his, metaphor. It's making it's his making life a, better. Uh-huh. It's well, it's making him better at drag racing because he can stay in the car oh, all day. How the yeah. fuck does he do it? He's <laughs> yeah. in that damn car. And his wife, hours his a wife day. is, or his new girlfriend or whatever is like, like you never. It's you never want to get intimate with me. Yeah. What the hell is yeah. going yeah. on? Wouldn't that be Baby, a perfect? Movie? I got something I need to show you, and he pulls off his fucking like suit. And oh my he's god! Got nothing on but a diaper underneath. <laughs> Holy <laughs> diaper driver. Oh that would be good. Baby, baby driver. <laughs> oh yeah, just baby driver. <laughs> baby driver too. Just baby driver. <laughs> That's genius. Um, um, I didn't this, include this next any, post in is. any of mine, but there is. Uh, I was looking up if anyone does psychedelics in the adult baby uh, community, and a ton of people are just like tripping on mushrooms and wearing a diaper. Is I, I will never go back. I was tripping with my friends for hours, and I came home and I put on a diaper, and I was able to go into my baby place immediately. Wait, when they say well, they'll never go back, do they mean that they? 
will no they'll they, they'll always trip and they'll right but is it that they always took mushrooms and now they i can't take mu- like i now I, i'm adding diapers or is that i always wore diapers and i'm adding mushrooms do you know what i'm saying oh i think it might be a little bit of <laughs> is both. it like i, I used to love I, I used to love wearing diapers oh, yeah. but no like now i have to take mushrooms Good when point. i do it or is I it like i always i'm just like a stoner <laughs> <laughs> i always take shrooms but i i realize my best trips are always wearing when i'm wearing a diaper <laughs> so. i could see myself i could see it was a psycho not who tried on the diaper yeah exactly if you were on mushrooms i could see feeling it feeling really good to piss your pants yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I personally wouldn't want to okay but i was curious i thought that maybe someone would say oh i'm a disgusting freak and they had a bad trip but all the trips were extremely good trips so now well, you, yeah, have you, don't wanna, in it? you don't want to knock it you know the people right, exactly. the people who are asking the questions yeah yeah um the next one here is i've been trying not to do this but the urge is too strong do 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 you don't know this song I know, I know this part of it. I don't remember it's how the dose go. Dude. You sing yeah, you it. Do, 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 and sing yeah. this. Yeah, yeah. Do, 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 I knew that. I specifically put this in for Patrick. Do, 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 and then you sing the part. Some people call me the diaper cowboy. Some people call me the gangster of loves. Oh my god! Wait, that is fire. That is a fucking bar right there, dude. Yeah, loves is a good little pun. Yeah. The gangster I just of love. Loves. Some people call me the diaper cowboy. It just Some doesn't people even call fit. me no, the nothing. diaper cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, paranormal happenings. No, um, I have seen ghosts before in prophetic <laughs> dreams and energy experiences. <laughs> um, and then the next one, I had a ghost poop once. I really had to go one day. Almost pooped myself at school because toilets were full in a line outside of door. I made it home after ten more minutes of an absolute hell of a bus ride. Every bump was torture. Got home, ran to the toilet, and squeezed out what I thought was a log. Looked in the bowl at whatever demon I spawned into this world, and nothing. I apparently <laughs> pooped out a ghost. This has happened to everyone here, right? Yeah. A fart? I've pooped a ghost. No, no, no. Like, you feel it coming out of your ass, and then you look in the toilet, and there's That's nothing. never yeah. happened it's, to me. No. It's so heavy that it slips no, it, under yeah, the it slips bowl. In. Yeah, Let's go. Oh, okay. So you have an explanation <laughs> for it. You've cracked the case. Yeah, but you can't okay. see it when you You've look taken down. The mask You've off. never taken a ghost poop? My shits are all water. They flow directly to the surface like fish food. <laughs> 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 My shits are like shaking a pepper grinder. <laughs> 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 yeah, not, they don't, I don't have perfect logs that, sh- <laughs> that decide to flush themselves because they know... Yeah, what is this, a cartoon? Yeah. I don't shit turds out of my <laughs> I, do, I really don't. <laughs> um, and some more paranormal happenings here. I think these are my last ones. Uh... I've been recording the or here. That's the prompt for the Yeah, yeah. I hope I go to heaven. If not, I hope I'm running around in my diaper with a mommy ghost chasing me to change me. That is so awesome. Can you awesome. imagine a ghost like that? Heaven ghost should be someone chasing diaper? you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who would chase you? Um the candy no. man. <laughs> <laughs> no, heaven should be relaxing. <laughs> no, it should be a pool. <laughs> Julio, can you uncover the middle one, please? Okay. <sighs> Thank you. So I'm sitting on the couch in my room with some buddies smoking kush, weed, nice. when my door creaks open a centimeter and I say out loud, not now, I got company, and immediately the door creaks shut. Later that evening, my guests have left and I'm laying on my floor and I recall the door incident and I say out loud, all right, my friends are gone, you can come in now. Immediately the door creaked open. Yeah, that's my true story. Holy fuck. <laughs> this is backdraft. Pretty, I don't believe this person. Pretty I scary it. though if it's true. Yeah. I'm mean, now this this last paranormal experience from Diaperman0723. I have had a friend of mine that had the demon Beelzebub attached <laughs> to them. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this um, is what what part of the forum were, were all these on? I was just search. I was just sur- typing uh, in paranormal words. forum. I typed in ghost, I think, and found is this. I have I have section? one last I have one last one to show we're you guys. Hungry, the, the end of my okay. So on, there's one I more for you to go new, through. It's uh, so ish. short and simple. Um, and here's the final one. Women have best butts, period. <laughs> <laughs> that Deleted is true. Member. Come back, man. We need you back. Deleted members. Women that. do have the best butts. Period. Yeah, men's asses are too small. Yeah. They need to be big and concrete. I was like for a second. You concrete. said women's asses were too small. No, and women's thought, asses. How much God. bigger could they get? <laughs> <laughs> women's All asses right. are the perfect giant size to me. <laughs> well, let's say we open up another, another this one. piece of food. Okay. okay. What is it? Okay, oh, open dear. it up. Who, well, who hasn't opened one on camera? I think we've, we've all, all opened we all one. Have. So why don't you do the honors? No, you can do double oh, duty. Did. Oh, what's this? Mm. What could this one okay, be? Okay, so first first layer. Uh, you, oh, you, hey. Oh, this is, this oh, is totally open, that okay, pumpkin no, pie. No, 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 open no, it. No, open it. Open pump, it. We're listen, hungry. There's nothing wrong with sneaking a little oh pumpkin pie before you're done with dinner. This is our first dessert of the night. Now this, I'll enjoy. I don't know if I've ever really had pumpkin pie. I think I usually Check this out. Looks what? good, right? Really? 
Mm-hmm. You never had pumpkin pie? I've never had it either. I don't think I've had it, but... Uh, you never had it, pumpkin pie? I've what? definitely had know? it, but it wasn't remarkable enough, and I always go for the apple pie instead. Apple pie <laughs> is way worse than pumpkin pie. Hey, I like that. I like both good. of them. I'm this doesn't taste like man. pumpkin, but though. But you know what? Now, oh. now that I'm older, with my more refined palate, I think maybe there's a secret ingredient that is making this taste better. Oh, yeah. It's and my diaper. It's a diaper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. It's my diaper. Would you pass that? Oh, that was good. Mm. Mm. I oh. can't stop. Can we and have I'll another dish, or is that too much? I feel let's like have let, let's have Yeah, let, let's have one more. Let's we might be as bad. well. Uh, this is, I think, mine. Okay, well, oh, then open it up. Oh. You can oh, do triple I'm really duty. I'm excited to see this one. This you can do from, triple uh, duty. This is like a, a recipe that my um, that my mom taught. Is me. this a, this is a traditional Thanksgiving or no? Uh, no, this is a kind of a new bit, twist. This is a little bit outside of the. And tradition. what's that? Um, well, you can see we have some rice here. We okay. Have <laughs> maybe this is some bok choy. Oh, this is like an Eastern inspired Thanksgiving meal. So yeah, what is let's that? See. Let me get my spoon me, out here so I can get to the real a, main event. Here. What would you? Ooh, what is that? Imitation I, crab. Oh wow! Well, you're uh, gonna find here. some imitation crab. Mm. You're gonna find some of that sweet triangular egg that we love in our sushi dishes. Mm. And you're gonna have. <laughs> <laughs> and it, don't forget the rice, Pierce. <laughs> here, I'll help you out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's so hungry. <laughs> <laughs> it looks so good. I'm so jealous. You well, get to well, eat all of this. Patrick, you can have a bite if you oh, like. Oh, yeah. <laughs> have a bite. <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> it's a sushi bowl. Oh, Oh, uh, uh, oh, I'm full. I already had some. I think Cameron hasn't had a single bite. And this imitation oh. crab I don't is know. Okay. room You know, I'm pretty full, but I, I can't help myself. I'm going to have one grain of rice. <laughs> <laughs> mm, that is good. Oh, and that's just the right portion for me. That's delectable, and we should store that right in the trash can right now. Oh, that's good. Mm. Oh, yeah. And he loves it. Look at how much he loves it. <laughs> Complete sushi facial abuse <laughs> on Pierce. <laughs> He's crying. I can smell it coming out of my mouth. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> 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 Oh my god! <laughs> oh. The worst episode we've ever done. Uh, <laughs> fucking plasma cube. <laughs> oh, oh no. man! So that was uh, good. That was awesome. That was yeah. delicious. Yeah. Right up for Pierce. Ooh. Thanks for bringing that, Pierce. Happy Thanksgiving, buddy. <laughs> um, say thank you for your stink food. Thank you for your food. Mmm, <laughs> that was good. Oh, mm. I can't wait to. T- <laughs> all right. I can't wait to shit this all out. Well, well let's get to the next gift. I want yeah. another present. Oh, I thought you were I thought you were reaching over to eat more <laughs> of it. <laughs> okay. Patrick, uh, you made a mess. Oh dear. <laughs> uh oh my god, that really sticks in your mouth forever. That yeah, I crap. can't taste anything but sushi bowl. <laughs> god damn, dude. Okay. Um, uh, we can show my gift. I actually brought a gift for you guys. It's a little larger than the uh, last two gifts, but uh, I would like to show you guys. If That's you what, it doesn't really matter on Thanksgiving is the thing, isn't it? The size I just of hope the nobody gets hungry matter. during the big gift, right? It's probably going to make everyone I mean, Beers is, st- Beers is ready to eat again. Yeah. I can see here, it. Why don't you hear? Let's, let's get you something to eat during the gift. Okay. No, no, we only have one last thing, and I'd like no, to we have, we have. Okay, we, we have oh, more wait, than wait, one we last have, thing. But we'll save it. We'll save it. You're right. Yeah, that's some I, more I of that pumpkin this. pie. Oh, yeah. Help yourself. Where is it? It's over here. Yeah. Okay. Have some pumpkin pie. Here, how about you feed it to me, Pierce? No. <laughs> 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 I think Patrick learned a little too much from the diaper forums. Yeah, I think so too. I think Patrick learned how to derive pleasure from odd things. So here's my Thanksgiving gift, guys. So uh, let's take a look at this. This is so I f- I did not go to the ABDL forums. I found some other uh, uh, or I didn't go to the one that everybody likes, the diaper talk one. Um, I went deep into the the pages of the of searching ABDL forum, and I found this one on ChristianForums.com, diaper fetish. <coughs> 
MRA22. Hello, my real name is Matt. <laughs> so right off the bat, he tells his real name. I'm in need of prayer and advice. I'm not trying to do this for spam or anything, and I trust that I won't be judged, but for pretty much my whole entire life, I've struggled with something called a diaper fetish, which falls in with something called ABDL. Growing up, I had something of a, somewhat of a rough life. I was abused when I was younger before, and I was made fun of and was called an egghead or a conehead, <laughs> and it hurt. <laughs> But I would resort to wearing diapers, and it took stress away. The thing I know, wearing diapers in general is not a sin. It is just another form of underwear. It is just that I find myself becoming aroused by them, and I even like to look at grown women wearing them, and I'm aroused by that. I don't like the nudity stuff, though, because I know nudity pics is wrong and sinful. It just feels like I'm at a tug of war because I love God with everything in me, and I just don't really understand my fascination with this lifestyle. And I'm going on 23. It is something that can be embarrassing, and I would just appreciate prayers and advice. Thank you. Oh, my God. So there's well, plenty of people on this Christian uh, you forum. Can t- you can tell that this guy is is, is truly kind of a, a good-hearted Christian man because he's not at war. He's at tug of war. <laughs> 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 I really want to see... He said Tug off war. <laughs> he, he said he was called an egghead or a conehead, and yeah, I really want to see. I do want to see what. He Hello, looks. my name is Matt, and this is my real head. <laughs> uh, this is my wait, real head can shape. we just look at Patrick's plate real quick? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, wait, let's show his plate real quick. Oh god, that looks delicious. Look at that—the cranberry sauce mixed in with the sushi <laughs> rice. <laughs> and, oh, man, Girl, down with the cranberry sauce. Um, so this per- we have some people trying to help. Uh, this person is Saltwater Heart, a Christian furry and a Christian brony. I'm familiar with the community because I'm an ABDL too. Like you, I was abused, and wearing diapers helps me to decompress and cope with the trauma. Drawing baby furs or ABDL furries is pretty fun as well. I will say that I harbor no sexual interest for any of it, though. Oh my God. That oh, aside, nice. I have run across some pages that tackle ABDLism and Christianity. Perhaps they'll be of help to you. And then he doesn't link them, which seems to kind of... Uh, selfish. Yeah. yeah selfish Find him yourself. <laughs> selfish just somebody who might be uh, looking for stuff for a podcast. Exactly. And then within uh, a couple of days, these two people make this make a pretty similar post. I have the same feelings myself. I like looking at pictures of women in diapers, and I feel aroused when I wear one. It gives me a feeling of security, p- peace, and happiness. And hey, I need help with this also, <laughs> says History Incognito. Um, and then, so I found this other website, which I, I don't think we've touched before. This is a German oh my diaper website oh, called Diaper. Oh, it's about to get freaky as hell. Diaper dot community. Okay, I didn't get wow. all that much from Diaper dot community uh, because it's not very active. Sure. But I did find some things, like this post made big in the diaper. <laughs> this is from Helmet, <laughs> <laughs> and this is all translated by uh, Google Chrome. Hello, everyone. I did it last night, finally, and I would be interested in how you do it. And there's some responses here. Here's one from Wow, who says, Hello, <laughs> who says, Hello, you shit pants. <laughs> For me, there is nothing more appealing than doing big business in a mostly wet diaper. This often happens, happens in the morning after waking up when the toilet is urgent. If I plan to do that, I pack myself in the evening with thick night diapers, pads, and rubber pants. Always wear a pair of long legged panties so that everything stays in place. Then lie on my back, empty the bladder, and then follow the AA. I've hmm. learned AA. I don't really know what it means, uh, but for, for whatever reason, th- all these German people, that is what they refer. Follow the AA. Follow AA, the AA means basically take a shit. I think it's oh. like BM, basically. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, a very aus, aus fought. Yeah, I think something like that. <laughs> ouch, ouch. <laughs> ouch, ouch. <laughs> a very wonderful feeling. Need a little, distribute a little, and then oh. stand up slowly. Sitting on the chair for breakfast. What a pleasure. I can easily enjoy this unique condition for several hours by applying <laughs> a lot of lotion the night before. It could well be afternoon. Depending on the packaging, I do that from time to time when I'm on the go. That's even more fun. But as I said, you should only allow yourself the necessary packaging, rubber pants, air brakes. I have good experience with it. Greetings, Wally. Oh, my God. Um, and then I did. I looked into Wow's uh, uh, profile uh, some more, and he, he posted this um, on how often do you AA in your diapers. Mm. Not everyone wants to admit that. Of course, a pee diaper is easier to handle, but those who have become addicted to this fetish are happy to accept the unpleasant side of feeling a really full diaper on your bottom for the unique feeling. For me personally, this guy's a veteran. Uh-huh. For me personally, there is nothing more beautiful and lovely than doing AA in the always thick, wet diapers and enjoying this wonderful state for as long as possible. Mm. 
Of course, you can only do this when circumstances allow. For me, it's at least four times a week. I don't just do it at home, but also when I'm on the go. But I have to say that I I then wear very good tailor-made Bermuda latex rubber pants, which hardly let any unpleasant smell escape to the outside. Who would like to be labeled as a pants shit? <laughs> oh my God. It's a superhero. I know. Uh, and then so th- there's also some groups on on this website. So there's like p- they're basically complete copies of like Facebook groups. Right. Uh-huh. So uh, this one there's there's Pokemon Go, um, there's Mac users, uh-huh. <laughs> and then there's geocaching and typers. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone with a hobby of geocaching is welcome. That's nice. So I looked up uh, AA uh, is Aa Machin Machin to do big jobs. <laughs> 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 so okay. it's like to do a number two. Okay, a big job. Yeah, to do big, a big oh, job. Oh, that's why they say big business at yeah. another point. Okay, that makes sense. I wonder if it's like an autonym from baby days, like when German babies shit, they go, ah, 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 <laughs> ah, ah. <laughs> I hate big business. I think well, what yeah, big all business is doing to this country and to my pants is disgusting. Yeah, it's very, yeah. very bad. All they're doing is uh, eating like schnitzel and, and sausages over there. Okay. Of course, their craps are going to look crazy. I agree. They're and eating shit. And then I found, um, <laughs> so in addition to this, so these couple forum posts, I found while looking for other forums, I found this website. Uh, let's see. Life as a diapered mother. Wearing diapers as a parent who is a diaper lover and an adult baby. Um, and this is a mm. blog spot that's been going on for, I think, 10 years now. Uh, and then she has an FAQ where she answers, or sorry, sorry, an about me. My name is Beth, and I have been happily married since 2009. We both have two children together, and I am a 30-something-year-old woman, and my husband is a lot older than I am in his early 40s. I've been wearing diapers off and on since I was 17, and I've gone 24-7 a couple of times. My husband, on the other hand, has been into them for a while, but he is more of an AB than a ABDL. He also forces me to wear diapers, and I enjoy it more that way. Plus, it is what I've always wanted. I have always had a fantasy of a man forcing me into diapers, and I have to wear them and do everything in them. Plus, I'm more calm in diapers and more relaxed and happier, so it's as if I mentally need them. Plus, I seem to function better in the relationship. I think it's more fun to be forced into them than be wearing them on my own, under my own consent. My hobbies are computer, (laughs) and (laughs) and I also like video games, and I like to write and have returned to it. I also love to clean, and it relaxes me. This was written in English also. (laughs) I am also childlike and a kid at heart, and my emotions are a bit immature. That is just the v- the natural part of me, but I think it's very good for my A-B role. I also love cartoons and kid shows, but I don't watch very much TV. My husband views me as innocent, despite that I am capable of being mean and rude and bad. I am also an opinionated person, so I have a lot of unpopular opinions and point of views, so it makes me look like a jerk or judgmental or come off as a troll. My husband likes to describe me as having mean views. In no way do we involve our kids in our fetish. How old are they? Well, they were born in 2010 and 2014. By the way, this is how I used to do all of my uh, writing prompts when I was in, like, fourth grade, is I would ask myself a rhetorical (laughs) question, and then I would go, well. Well, (laughs) yeah. (laughs) Warning, this blog contains off-topic posts and rants and my ramblings and may contain irrelevant stuff. It's my blog, so I don't try to be normal or anything, and I am more than ABDL, so I may just blog about other stuff as well, which is why I had created another blog. I hope you enjoy my blog. And there's What what do they mean by off-topic? I feel like the topic here is being a diapered mom constantly, so it's just... No, there's a lot of... I'll get into it, but there's a lot of other stuff on this blog. Yeah? Okay, well... So I'm, there, glad, I'm glad you have more. Really stuff. quickly, this has one like, uh, one oh, blogger no, like this. Matt like this. No, pretty. it's not Matt DeVita. <laughs> it's actually Gordon Shagin. <laughs> 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 Who seems like a good guy. Okay. Oh, that's, that's Gordon Shagina. Shagin. Shagina. Um, Shagina. He's Shagina in a diaper. Gordon. So, uh, <laughs> these, these are some of the, the posts. These are some of the titles. So, I, I don't want to include the bodies of these because a lot of them have pictures of her diapers filled with shit oh. or very uh, particular. Go for some more chicken right now. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> or very particular. Hungry as fuck, dude. Uh, oh God, dude. Skin just rubbed up the diaper. Very particular, um, uh, like, details about her life. So, I'll just stick to mostly titles for this. I'm so full of shit. A huge load. Uh, ouch, my butt. <laughs> These are all accompanying with photos of a full diaper? Uh, for the most part, yeah. Okay. Uh, pooped my nappy. I felt like using a British word. I'll include right. some of the body. 
Um, and then, yay, Wi-Fi is back. <laughs> <laughs> it's not all about the diapers, you know. Yay, Wi-Fi is back. Another stinky in one day. Uh, I haven't used the toilet since last summer. Oh my god! Oh Jesus Christ! Uh, and the PC police have struck again. <laughs> the PC police have struck again. And then there's more stuff. There's well, a the retarder. Oh this was a new god. term I just oh learned. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, oh yes. Yeah, so she also. Has claimed that she kind of invented her own religion. Tight. She says, I also think people do a religion because they need rules, but you don't need to pick a religion to do. Why not make up your own? My religion is no toilet usage, uh-huh. no mm-hmm. underwear, no weighing above 125 pounds, awesome. no unemployment, no belief in God, no church, no Christmas before Thanksgiving. <laughs> what does that mean? I have no idea. What? No Christmas before Thanksgiving. Must shower when I see too much pubic hair growing in. <laughs> Must not judge people for things that they do that are totally different, that are not harming others no matter how gross it is it must have, which seems a little bit like she's trying to get you to kind of believe that yeah. Yeah. must exercise five times a week on weekdays this lady's taking showers so hot it scalds all her pubes off <laughs> <laughs> it is i don't i don't really know why, why would you not them shave off. them you know, instead of know, taking a shower you know, maybe it's because they're like they're too fluffy yeah right the, they're the, too the, like the the terrifying reality of this is is that uh, her diaper is putting so much shit in her pubes? Oh, yeah, it's working like fertilizer, yeah. and making them grow <laughs> at exactly. super speed. She's uh, growing. It's like she's oh got like a hydroponics for her pubes. That's awful because the piss and shit. But she doesn't it's take like it that much. A paintbrush. She doesn't take it that seriously. She says broke. Oh, whoops. She says broke my diaper religion again. <laughs> Good. Was, I think the she next did Christmas one. Christmas before Thanksgiving. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, that's the one thing. So here's where it gets kind of bad. Is that you know, this weighing is weighing above 125 pounds. Petite that, lady. Yeah, yeah as long as that might woman. be tough if you're including the big puffy butt load of. Yeah, rape. I wonder if she takes that off to a. Uh, but so this was after this. I looked at the tags, and so here, here's some of the tags: 3ds, <laughs> ABDL problems, and then the biggest one is abuse. Oh, no. okay. So from there, I kind of fell into what has to be the worst things. I've wait, ever wait, wait, seen. wait, 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 wait. Is that? I need to ask before you go any yeah. further. Did you investigate 3ds? Because does that mean? She has a she. This is like a uh, Nintendo 3DS, or yeah. is it the 3Ds? She, this is unrelated. She has a uh, a Twitter account where she just posts her 3DS games. Oh, okay. And how much she loves 3DS? <laughs> okay. Uh, so Probably the the most diaper friendly gaming system. Yeah, all definitely. definitely. It's on the go. Yeah. Uh, she. So this is uh, kind of the beginning of where I started to see that this was maybe not going to be all <laughs> smiles. <laughs> so then uh, there here's some more titles of some of her blog posts. Got my kid taken. Oh. <laughs> Oh, no. I got to see my son again, ready to have my son back. I hurt my mother. Yes, you read that right. I hurt my mother. <laughs> so I stalked my ex. I sometimes wonder if my ex was a pedophile. <laughs> Showing signs of autism. Looks like our son will be having autistic parents. <laughs> search terms again. I just read another blog by someone about disturbing search terms she found, and I decided to look through mine again to see if there are any interesting ones or if I had gotten anything disturbing. I've never gotten a search term yet that is about me. The ones I found that stuck out for me were... So this is... You can see what search terms brought people to your blog spot. Mm -hmm. So this is one that she found. She is weird and adult (laughs) diapers. The misspelling made Sit look like I am reading She is Weird and Adolf Diaper. And then I see Adolf Hitler in my mind because of me being visual. <laughs> then I'm seeing seeing Adolf Hitler's diaper. So I know it's supposed to say she is wearing a adult diaper. I know now how you found this this blog. <laughs> <laughs> what what search term you put into Google <laughs> to find this? I've been it caught. All became perfectly clear. <laughs> Okay, right. so we only have a couple right. of things left. Before well, my okay. gifts, I, and before Wait. we open the next one, I do actually have to fill my diaper. Uh, and by that, I mean use the toilet. Just a little bit of a joke. I'm going to use the toilet. Okay. All God, right. I feel so good now. I feel Let's good after again. that. <laughs> All right. Okay, Pierce okay, is back. Okay, guys. Um, before Pierce's gift... Uh, I just have I have I mean we have a we have a, a really exciting one to open at the very that's going to be a huge but, finale. But mm-hmm. this one this is our second to last kind of our pen up, penultimate diaper that I'm going to open up. Go ahead here and open and that bad boy up. A I little snack that. that I brought for for all of us. Good because I'm starting uh, to get hungry again. Yeah. All right, did you work up up an appetite in the bathroom there, Pierce? I did. I'm so starving. You oh, guys. I can't wait for this. What is this? This looks like it's going to be the best one, uh, or the second to best one. What is that? Oh, I can't even see it yet. Oh, it's di- digestives. Get it? 
Oh, I get oh. it. <laughs> that's a sight a, gag. That's a Stinksgiving uh, uh, marathon. Did you guys go to the Stinksgiving marathon? <laughs> 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 oh, I'd love to have. Oh one. yeah, the stinky trot. The stinky trot. <laughs> I love any meal where half of the food is dessert. <laughs> 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 oh my god. <laughs> Cheers and uh, happy Thanksgiving to uh, Thanksgiving everybody. Mm-hmm. Digestive. A little chocolate to whet the appetite for the for the last. These the last. are these are really good. They're that was a good you, that's by far the yeah. best thing we've eaten. What Why didn't you smush these? them up in there? Where did you find these? I actually I want to bring these at home. I want to bring these home. Yeah, those are good. Do you have extras mm. of those? Nope. I only no. bought four. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, well, Pierce, let's check out your gift, buddy. Um, yeah, I, I brought I brought some clothes for you guys. Jubio, do you, can you help me get? Can you help me, Jubio? Can you change me? Okay. S- Pierce's Thanksgiving gift. Yeah, here we go. Um, okay, so there's a um, user I found that has a kangaroo <laughs> with a diaper on. <laughs> I'm just gonna read through all these that I found. A few months ago, I had a nightmare where two people came in and took everything I had. I had my games, my house, my dog, and my toys. Treated me like complete trash. <laughs> and I was out <laughs> on the street in minutes. <laughs> oh, crying and squeezing my bear. Glad everything was still there. This actually happened to me over nine years ago. <laughs> Jubio, shut Whoa, the shut the hell up, Jubio. <laughs> <laughs> that was so loud. When I do mess my diaper, I first enjoy the farts before it. <laughs> Sometimes I get a little pain in my stomach before crapping, but feel great relief after messing. I also like the clump on the back. And then there's that cleaning <laughs> where the wipes feel a lot smoother than toilet paper. The times that I mess are most often in the wee hours of the morning mm. when everyone is still sleeping. One thing I dislike about having to spray down my room after <laughs> after clearing, cleaning, cleaning or the smell cleaning. will reach all over the house. I live in a small place with my bed taking up one third of my room. And then I also believe that this person has a child, okay. Ooh. and they posted on their own it's private. Pretty common, it seems. Yeah, on their own private account, they just wrote, "I changed Barry's diaper yesterday. He really needed a fresh <laughs> diaper." I don't know why that stuck out to me. That must <laughs> mean that he had a dirty diaper for <laughs> days and days. Oh. I like how much these people are like willing, like that. The the diaper mother talks about her kids constantly. Yeah. And it's like you would think that you would just be like, wh- I don't. I'm not sure you at, need to delve into that a, all that much. At a certain point, I feel like. Being a diapered mother is just Munchausen's. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was almost about to say the exact same thing. <laughs> Munchausen's um, by proxy. This He also broke a record, this guy, in wow. one of these posts about how many diapers have you worn at once, and he put everyone to shame. He said, I put an entire pack of D-Pens pull-ups at once, 18 pull-ups, and it was just as thick as five diapers that I normally Sounds wear. Sounds like they were thin pull-ups. That's a very... I think that's... But five <laughs> diapers... That's crazy. But isn't a pull-up thinner than a diaper? I guess, but he yeah. usually wears five diapers. I think oh, that's yeah. still a lot. Damn, I didn't even process that. I feel like I, you could fit... Uh, I feel like that's a pretty easy record to break. Yeah. Very Let's few people it. attempting that. Hey, I'll do it. Uh, okay. Here's a guy who just posted... I. Can you, you imagine, basically... Can you imagine how mad the diaper community would be if somebody, a non-diaper lover, broke the diaper-wearing <laughs> world record? <laughs> that's <laughs> no <laughs> record. How dare you? You swoop in... <laughs> You piece you of swoop. shit. You were oh 19 pull ups. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with yeah. you? I didn't even get hard. <laughs> yeah. I actually didn't even like it. I fucking hated God, it. The if whole only time. I could wear 19 pull ups. <laughs> yeah. The only person who got hard was the was the Guinness Book uh, checker who was in my room watching me. Okay. Yeah. This guy posted in the diaper lever. He started a forum post that was basically, like, <laughs> it was like, I shit my pants in my room. Should I get up and change? Mm-hmm. <laughs> he wrote, I'm lying on my side watching football, soccer. I pooped my pants. I pooped in my nappy halfway through the first half, and I still haven't changed. I can tell it's big, and the room now smells really of poo. <laughs> Even though it's now halftime, I think it would take too long to clean up before the start of the second half, so I'll probably have to wait until the end of the game. And someone write, wrote, uh, writes. <laughs> someone <laughs> write, wrote, writes. Someone <laughs> writes this. Well, if you're in your own home and all alone, then why hurry to clean up? Just hope there isn't an unexpected knock on your door. He just wrote, just didn't like the smell. I stunk out the whole room. <laughs> <laughs> Someone wrote, they say your own poop doesn't smell as bad to you as other people's. And he just wrote, mine does. <laughs> <laughs> I do like how many of the posts that I've seen are just like, 
Like, I love shitting my pants. I can't stop shitting my pants. I do it all the time, but the smell is just too <laughs> yeah, much. The smell is me. crazy. <laughs> what part of it do they like, I guess? is my I guess uh, it's the feeling of uh, a full diaper. I it did must see, be the pleasure. I know yeah. that well, we've talked about it before. A couple of pe- Some people <laughs> shove, shove uh, bananas up their ass, yeah. and they shit the banana out. Some people out. put oatmeal in their diaper. And they yeah, like we've talked about that one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. my God. I have, a, I have something to read from this book, which is called... Uh, it's about smell, and I found it on the ground, and it's covered in crap. But um, I'll read that at the <laughs> okay. end, sort of as a. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I thought you never did Stinksgiving before, Pierce. Uh, I, You're I, a damn Stinksgiving a pro. Okay, so Catch this in your mouth. Okay. <laughs> it was not even close to. Ready. It was so close. Um, okay, so there's a concept called keyhole incontinence. Have you guys heard of this? No, I've not. No. Um, someone wrote, to. "I have pissed and shit myself on my front porch, fumbling with my keys more than I care to count." And someone wrote, I called it keyhole incontinence. Because if you're having a good day, walking to the door and putting that key in, uh, it can create a big problem, LOL. My incontinence has come and gone for years. And to be honest, when I was doing okay out of diapers during the day, then that darn door was my arch nemesis. Driving home and seeing that house, bam, all of a sudden I kind of need a bathroom. Parking, get out. Um, Now I really need a bathroom. (laughs) Start walking to the door, and with every step, the... Anger in my guts gets more extreme, and my bladder starts screaming louder. Key in hand, running through the house to the bathroom. You're extremely concerned you won't make it, and you soak the carpet in a streak all the way through. <laughs> Basically, oh. they're running to the... As soon as they see their house, they're shitting their pants. They're shitting their <laughs> pants and then tracking, like, like shit liquid like a slug. Another, another key, like, sort of atomic level operation in their digestive system is happening with each ritual of coming into their own living yeah. quarters. A key in the hole... You're, I have you're, that. You're I, yeah, I was gonna say open. I will. I I when will I say open not the for, bathroom not for door. shit, but definitely if I'm if I like maybe left a bar and I should have gone to the bathroom before I did and right. I didn't. I walked home and I gradually have to pee more and more. Yeah. The second I'm into my front door, but it's not at the bathroom yet. Yeah. It's the yeah. it's when I, I have get. To run. Imagine you actually run, leaving yeah, shit yeah. streaks yeah. on the carpet. Like no, I can't imagine. that. I can imagine that. Not me. Look, I don't I'm like it, but I can't. Right. The other day, I try. I I was get, I was uh I I got into the bathroom and I was like, oh, I have to shit pretty bad. And as soon as I locked the door, it was like so bad. I like I had to shit so fucking bad. And I said out loud to myself, oh no 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 no. And I it was the hardest. Actually, I, I, had to a, shit. I had a similar thing like that recently where I was I had to go. I literally. I it's probably one of the first time I had to tell. My girlfriend, you have to stop talking to me. <laughs> I have to go like I like she was trying to tell me something, and I was like, you, like you can't talk to me right it's now. Over. It's over. It's I have to go in the over. bathroom. Like I literally did. I just had to close the door. I do that every single day with my girlfriend. Um, diarrhea. Weird. Okay, this person. There's only one good thing in this post that I'll just skip to. I always have to wonder about people who talk about how good it is to feel in a diaper full of poop. <laughs> Um, when my uh, ulcerative colitis is flaring, doing that would cause an almost immediate and very painful rash, not to mention that my poop looks and smells like blood. <laughs> <laughs> I end up with my backside so sore that I have trouble cleaning up after a bowel movement, which is often every 15 to 30 minutes. Somehow oh the appeal God. is just lost on me. A wet diaper, I'll change the first chance I get. A soiled diaper, I'll drop everything to clean immediately and shower if I probably can. I would feel this way too. My 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 bowel movements are pretty uh, evil, painful. Not necessarily yeah. like a fun, sexy time. Like you're for me. you're yeah. you're uh, you're pooping and then spinning up the poop. Um, like I'm what? spiraling upward. Like I'm yeah. creating a yeah. You create a poop so big in the toilet that you're sitting on top of it. Like, like it's rocket fuel. Yeah, like you're sitting on top of the uh, the Doctor Strange Love rocket. Right. You know that rocket was, you know that was a bomb going down. <laughs> it's going down, but from the perspective. Right, right. if you're looking at it, if you're watching yeah. it, it be upside down. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good point, Pat. Uh-huh. Um, I don't have sex. I'm too often in baby headspace. It's just alien to me. I think this is a really good idea. I <laughs> <laughs> okay, I elaborate. Think, I think that if you are so... I think if the reason that you don't want to have sex is because you think you're a baby, that means you have the right idea about sex and babies. Yeah. So I Oh yeah. That's that's what this you is, should if be. If you're going to be an ABDL, exactly. you should be completely sexless. Yes. Yeah, yeah no, I agree. You with should you. be you yeah. should have no right. genitalia. You should just like the feeling of poop just cuz you like it. That's yes. right. <laughs> no, Not yeah. cuz it gets you hard or makes you sperm. Well, I'm sick of these just fuckers just shitting themselves I think and just pick up chicks. Basically <laughs> <laughs> Basically every time we've done this, I have uh, my, I've broadened my understanding of like how all this works, and this time I really did see so many people who were 
talking about how it is like a comfort thing for them and not yeah. sexual at all. That was yeah. like way more common there's than I realized. Well, there's a hu- that one split that I noticed that I noticed a lot, but I noticed this time there's one, another post I didn't put in. Um, is there's something that I find is very funny? Is there's some stuff where like half of half of diaper lovers like love it and the other half think it's the worst thing and like yeah. i read a bunch of posts that were about like eating while pooping like sitting at the dinner yeah. table and eating and also pooping your pants at the same time and a bunch of people are like that's the best feeling in the world <laughs> to me something going in something coming out it's incredible but then just as many people are in there saying you are a degenerate human being you are <laughs> yeah. disgusting i hate you you should shit all you yourself. want in your bed but at it's dinner yeah, i know it's dinner crazy table, right that there's ruining. one thing that like also get your so elbows off the table people are saying like you are a degenerate and it's you like they're on the diaper like how do well, uh, that's I the one thing that I think I think having both ends of your tube that is your whole life essence going like this must be what the, the, fuck the pinnacle. Are you talking about? Your anus going like this and your esophagus going like this at the same time. That has to do something to the middle. No, I agree. I feel like <laughs> it's a how, how does it how does rubbing your foreskin compare to your whole yeah. soul? A, s- a single like tract that both ends are are yeah. orgasming at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. And then <laughs> then you just put <laughs> that's the weirdest thing I've ever heard you say. You are officially weird. You are a weirdo. <laughs> you are a weirdo. Okay. This is called Stinksgiving, and we're reading <laughs> diaper posts. Yeah. And uh, Pat just says, to you're being weird. Who, <laughs> you're being weird. Just to anyone who sort of snapped. And we've been eating cobra. guacamole out of diapers. Yeah. <laughs> no, all this was normal up until he he. Okay, about well, you look like a leprechaun. I don't look you like do. a leprechaun. You do. Thank you, like Caleb, for coming to my rescue. Yes, yeah, so I got you. You look exactly like a leprechaun. There's, um, a, green hat. There's a green pilgrim hat over there I could put oh, on. Oh, this is from the same post that I think Caleb, or maybe, who found the post about being ridiculous in a diaper? That was me. Okay, yeah, this is this is the, on the same one. Yes, completely. I love how they feel, but when I look in the mirror, or if I happen to be around my partner, I can't help but think, who would love this? I'm a complete joke. <laughs> 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 and someone says, I tend to avoid mirrors when I'm wearing, be- generally because I <laughs> violate an unwritten rule. You should never wear both a nappy and a mustache at the same time. Mm, and true. someone wrote, mirrors equals diapers, or mirrors plus diapers are kind of like the old don't look in the mirror on acid rule. Do you right. think so that's the kind, the level of kind of euphoria you get from wearing a diaper? I think one hundred percent. Like being on yeah. acid. I, I th- uh, this is my actual other weird thought that I had, Patrick. So cover your ears. Okay. But I, I think that a, a diaper is probably like the totem that takes a human being back to the point of like pure, like unencumbered joy. It's like tripping on acid because you're going back into a place where there's no right and wrong. It's just shit and piss and it's all gravy. I think that that wasn't weird at all. That's probably the most normal thing. Gravy is going. I I don't. (laughs) Hungry. I would be more inclined to agree with that, and that being uh, that uh, that uh, beautifully put Mm -hmm. idea. If the people who post about wearing diapers weren't some of the like obviously the most like the stupidest people in the universe. Well, it's not as if geniuses love to trip on acid either. You know. That's a good point. (laughs) That is a very good point. Uh, some. Oh, here we go. Same. Tina slip now been peed in four times. I think times. Tina is a brand. Okay. I found same Tina slip now been peed in four times. I decided to poop in the potty monster, but not wipe, <laughs> and smush my diaper between my bum cheeks. One more pee, it will be okay. Another after that, it will leak. <laughs> so been pissing and shitting the same diaper maybe oh, four or five fuck. times in a row, and they're wow. they're actually smushing it. <laughs> I did see the diapered mother posted a picture that was a. Uh, That's gonna make it better. <laughs> no, it's just fun. <laughs> I, I didn't include the pictures from the diapered mother, but I did look at almost every single one, and one of them was she. She was like, "I'm so proud of myself. I pooped in the same diaper four times in a day. Epic. It was just oh. the entire diaper was completely black. Uh. <laughs> entire di- <laughs> is completely black. Completely black. Um." I searched smush. I don't know if you guys have guessed this yet. Okay. I like sitting on the toilet with a diaper on and messing. Sometimes after I go, I will stand up, put the lid down, and sit back down to smush the mess against me. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh, man. Why even sit on the toilet? Just do it in a chair. Yeah. Oh, well, just do it in a rocking nasty. chair. That's, that is, that's too far. You are invoking. You shouldn't be anywhere I think a lot of toilet. people here have gone too far. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so this is like what foods put you in a little mode. Mm-hmm. And this wrote, mm-hmm. I, if I'm in little mode, then grilled cheese and tomato soup. If I'm in grown-up mode, then a whole lobster <laughs> stuffed with crab meat. <laughs> grilled cheese went in little mode. <laughs> Stuffing a lobster with crab meat makes fucking no sense to me it's at all. It's a crabster. A cra- <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you mean. It's a lab. Yeah. Um, 
I don't soil, but love to watch my diaper when I pee. W fill with pee. At times, I pull the front of my diaper forward and watch my little guy let the pee flow into the diaper. This can be a little messy at a time, but I love it. Watching diaper yourself dude, pee. watching my little man. <laughs> I can't read this, but I found a guy on here. God. <laughs> he posts really... Here, I'll read one of these. We'll read the lucky one. Um, yeah, this one should be fine. Okay. Someone wrote, we are a diaper lover couple, and we both wear diapers regularly, so yes, she does know. And this is basically a married man who has a wife who's cool with it. And maybe we should eat our final dish while, while we no, read we're this. Sa we're saving no, we'll it save that for the very end, Come on. I think. Okay, we just eat it raw. That's fine. <laughs> that got to be good. Do you guys just lay there smoking cigarettes while going? <laughs> or is it much more intimate? <laughs> you can lay there like you do when you spoon. In bed, feeling her just pushing her mess out while you just hugging her as you wet the front of your diaper. Uh -huh. Then flip, and she can feel his tummy. Just get hard as he's loading his diaper as you wet yours. That sound fun. Then just squish around and smush that bulge with your knees. Oh, I can think of a hundred things to do while you both wet and messy. One <laughs> smells... <laughs> which one smells worse than the other? Does either one get run out by the other? I oh. bet the both of you are a lot tighter, closer to each other than normal couples. And the big question, do you change each other or shower together? Um, washing each other up and nice and clean. And then you are nice and dry and it feels like the perfect time, as you know so much about each other, to just have a heated, hot, and heavy session with each other. Do you change and powder each other before? It's good night, fun. Good night, sweetie. Oh my <laughs> God, that honestly Jesus. is so romantic. Well, all which I love, like I love this. playing which one smells worse than the other. That is so yeah. beautiful. Do you ever lay in bed and think which one smells <laughs> worse? It's me. It's also, squishing me. it with your squishing the mess with your knees is that's too that's yeah. how to get down there. <laughs> you're gonna make poop. No, you're, wine. That's the, you're, uh, you're behind her. You're bringing your squish knees, it up. Your knees stomping up. to squish it. Yeah. Oh stomping on the stomping on the diaper, making poopy wine. Yeah. Oh, this is a real quick one. This guy is giving advice to a guy whose is wife doesn't know that quick. he wears a diaper. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm only gonna read one part. He just wrote. Maybe you could go to a doctor, comma, who deals in fetishes, comma, <laughs> but that's whole, comma, different problem, comma. <laughs> I mean, I went through a whole different problem when I got put in a diaper. It was not something I was looking for. It was a sentence, a place I don't want to be. But once I got there, I just had to sort of take it my one rotten day after another. So that's what I can tell you. What is the draw? The diapers are using them both. You have yourself a real fix. All I can say is good luck. Oh, my oh, God. That this is person is a poet. Yeah. Is that the end of your gift? That's the end of my gift. I mean, I would I would read all of his posts all day, but they're too small to read from here. Read the. Yeah. Can you read your what, your what book? This? What is this book? This that is you a book brought? about smell that I found on the ground. Mm. Um, there's all kinds of you awesome found this chapters. On the ground. Yeah, you? all kinds of awesome chapters in here, like the influence of Christianity and the devaluation of the sense of smell and o odors. Wow. Um, Have you thought maybe you could order the full book at some point? Uh, it's very rare. It's a rare book. I really, I can't find it online. Um, okay, so this is from a, a chapter called The Philosophical Nose, and this is just a quick passage, I think, from the writings of Freud. The desire for cleanliness emerges from the pressing need to get rid of excretia that have become disagreeable to the sense of smell. We know that this is not true in the case of infants who are not repelled by them. Education exerts special care to accelerating the passage to the succeeding stage at which excretia lose any value and become the object of disgust and repugnance and are therefore rejected. Such an appreciation would be impossible if the strong odor of such matter drawn from the body were not subjected to the same fate as other olfactory impressions that were also foregone as man began to walk upright. Thus, anal eroticism is the first victim of the organic repression that occurs along the road to civilization. Wow. And that is what I'm stinkful for. I'm, I'm stinkful that we don't have snouts and that our sense of smell is so muted that we can actually be in this room with each other, even though all this food is clearly spoiled. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of food, yeah. do you guys mind... If I open this last Please one. Please open the last one. I mean, okay, guys. This is uh, the very last meal that we have. Last part of our meal. Hold right. his mic up for him, Pat. Um, this one is, as you may know, a uh, Stinksgiving. This is probably the number one tradition. This is the, the uh, turkey of Stinksgiving. Uh, can I have all four mics, please? <laughs> this is the uh, turkey of Stinksgiving. Right? The most important one. 
And we all made, well, we did all make it together. We all made this together. This is, um, can, you, can I get the close up? So just hold on that, please. Um, it's chocolate pudding. <laughs> Which traditionally you go no spoon here. <laughs> it's my turn. <laughs> you just go directly in on that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now, Cameron, it's your turn. Mm hmm. Yeah. Oh, man, that's good stuff. I mean, and that is creamy. <laughs> it's so creamy. Really Patrick, <laughs> it's the stinks giving. Okay. You have to. Yep. All right. <laughs> Very quickly now. He's going to drink himself. Yeah, a oh, that's okay. <laughs> you want me to get Some on my microphone. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, Pat. Dig I, in, buddy. It's so funny to have dessert. <laughs> 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 no, you got to put it. No, you got to really get yourself in there. Come on. Come on. No. There we go. Hey. Oh, man. And can, if I can get a close-up for a second. Um, if, you guys are, if you guys are mad at us about what we just did, can I get a real, my actual close-up? Um, if you're mad at us about what we just did, nobody can hear you. If you're mad at us about what we just did, um, I want to show you the the food item for today that didn't make the cut that could did not get put into a diaper. Let's put it in a diaper for shits and giggles. <laughs> we saw that. That is mashed and potatoes. And we said no. We said oh, oh come on. It. Okay. All right. All, all right. right. We're done. <laughs> Knock it off. That's, that is awful. Uh, We're so oh. sorry. Oh God. But this is what you wanted. <laughs> What kind of potato could that possibly be? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. This is well, happy Thanksgiving, happy everybody, Thanksgiving. and we'll see. I mean, and and we'll see you guys next year. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Caleb. Get your kiss. <laughs> the pilgrim started to poop and pee due to the stomach sickness. Yes, in their trousers. <laughs>